Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here with some more adventures in locksmithing. This time talking about an eviction and, uh, you know, the, the police oftentimes they get a uh, a bad rap. But I've, I've seen them and this is this is years back. So this isn't just a, a recent reaction to recent public outcry. But um, a lot of times they, they try to adapt. And so they we had a situation where the house being evicted, the landlord um, had gone into a coma. And he had been in a coma for a couple of years, and his sons didn't even know he had this property. And he had finally died, and when they finally got all of his legal information, they discovered he owned this house. And the tenants had just been living there rent-free. And they... <laughs> One was driving a Mercedes, the other one a Lexus, and they're there, the wife's home, and they say, okay, well, you're being evicted. And she's, oh, no, 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 we left voicemail on the phone last night. We we pay up, and they're like, you're going to pay up a couple years worth of rent? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. You had your chance. Today's the eviction. you got to get out. And she says, and so she was Punjabi. And she was trying to use the language uh, as a barrier. But many, most Punjabi here in the U.S. know English. And so she's, oh, uh, wait for my husband to get home. Then, then we talk about it. And they would talk to her and she'd say she didn't know. And they, they were knowing that they might have to physically remove her. They called in to lady cops, one of which was Punjabi and could speak Punjabi. And uh, so uh, she came up and then as soon as, and she kept saying she didn't understand and it wasn't until they put one cuff on her she spoke perfect English, she went got her stuff, got in her car and left and I said well ma'am, 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 hold on did you get some stuff for your husband? She says, no, I'm not allowed to touch his stuff, which is uh, a cultural thing, you know. Uh, and they're like, ma'am, I know that, but your husband is going to be living in a hotel tonight. He's going to want a change of clothes. You know, you have 15 days to get your stuff back, but please go get your husband some clothes. And she was kind of hesitant about that. They talked her into that. So the officers did help her out, but they they had been there. She she tried to pull the language barrier when it wasn't a thing. And so it, it was nice to see, you know, the officers wanting no sort of uh, complaint. You know, they got other female officers. They got an officer who spoke Punjabi to make sure that there was no misunderstandings. It wasn't a, a male officer arresting her because there was no need for that. And we run into that a lot of times. People on evictions, they try to come up with an excuse or to play the language barrier and but ultimately at the end of the day it's a court order they've had 90 days notice and so they, they've got to get out at that point so anyways that's just another uh day in the life of a locksmith uh hope everybody's having a good day